Hey, young William. Hey, Chris. Here we are in California. It's beautiful, isn't it? We are outdoors at an event with, with people. people. We've been shaking hands with people like this. Yep. It's amazing. Hey, everybody. Chris Beatty from Grower Talks Magazine with my good friend and colleague. Bill Calkins, also with Grower Talks Magazine, but representing Tech On Demand. That's exactly right. Uh, we're your bobbleheads bringing you everything that's worth bringing from the 2021 California Summer Trials. Summer Trials, because it's June. It's June, looks just like April in California. Anyway, where are we right now? We are at the Ball Stop, which is full of all sorts of different companies from annuals companies, vegetable companies, perennial companies. We saw cut flowers. I mean, we've seen a lot. Uh, I think there's like eight or nine, eight, eight brands represented. But the first one we're going to talk about right now is behind us in a little greenhouse area, Ball Floral Plain. Let's go check it out. Sounds good. At the ball floor plant section out here, notice everything is outdoors as oh, well. And you'll see that as we as we go along through the trials. Because of this whole pandemic thing that I guess was going on, they arranged to do everything outside. Very, yep. really nothing in an enclosed greenhouse. Even lunch was in a tent. Um, so they've got this little section here, but we're going to look at color rush petunias right off the bat here. And uh, Bill, what what's uh, what are color rush? Color Rush are the extremely vigorous petunia lime from Ball Floor Plant, uh, very much uh, uh, for the landscape performance. Big, vigorous garden performance. Uh, two new ones and an improvement. Uh, this nice Color Rush yellow is brand new. It's a bit of a, a more upright habit, uh, you see here. There's also a new red, which we have in a smaller pot here. Smaller flowers and foliage on this one. And then we have one improvement which is uh, Merlot Star Improved. And one thing we should point out is they say that their white is the best in class for garden performance. So if you want a really good, vigorous, white, vegetative petunia, they're saying that uh, Color Rush White would be the one to have. Uh, another, not new this year, and, and this is gonna be also something we're gonna be doing uh, a bit of this year, is looking at, at introductions from last year or maybe a little bit earlier in this case, we can't not talk about bee's knees because it's uh, one of the most interesting petunias introduced in the last two years. It's now an AAS winner, as you can see from the sign. And if you want a, a really intense yellow petunia um, with great, great habit, uh, bee's knees is the one to have. Works really well in combos too. Yeah, and lastly, uh, a third series, a, a brand new series. This one is called Cannonball. Bill, describe, I don't think you need to describe the habit because the name explains <laughs> Well, it, it the is, and it's, it's an early and compact series. It replaces the, the Sunspun series. Um, very uniform, very consistent. It all uh, flowers within a very tight window. Right, seven colors, seven colors. and they're kind of comparing this to the Potunias. And Cannonball, great name. You can see from the habit there, it's shaped like a ball. One week flower window is what they're, what they're claiming. So we've got like cannonball shaped petunias. How about like a cannonball shaped calibracoa? But in this case, they call them conga. But look at that beautiful mounded habit on the congas. It's, it's uh, Floor Plant's most compact uh, calibracoa series. And they introduced a couple of new colors this year. Uh, cherry right there in the center, lavender, and then a red improved uh, for the habit. And now it is really compact, matches the series beautifully. And then, Bill, you've got one up here that's a standalone, right? Yeah, I really like this bumblebee hot pink. It's a beautiful, vibrant color, and it's a uh, sort of a unique color for mono baskets, which is uh, a trend in retail. See, bi colors are great. I think this is a tri color. Nah. It's pink and yellow and hot pink or dark pink or something. I think, I think you get four colors in there, they really have some. It's gonna stand out, no doubt about it. <laughs> all right, and some, some more introductions, this time again from 2021 when we were all on Zoom. We did this on Zoom last year instead of being live in California. We managed, but it wasn't as fun as this, and they showed us Calibracoa Cha-Cha, which is their much more vigorous Calibracoa series, and these are some of the fun colors that we only saw on Zoom last year. This is Cha-Cha Diva Hot Pink, and that's Cha Cha Frosty Lemon. And uh, scroll down here, Gen Z, because let's look at these two colors. I like them a lot. Cha Cha Tangerine and uh, Cha Cha 
Diva Apricot. There's also a, a deep blue in that mix as well. Uh, now, if you, if you don't like flowers, if you're more into foliage, Coleus might be your thing right over here. And we've got uh, four brand new ones. Uh, I'm excited because these are uh, these are from my alma mater, University of Florida. Got it. Tell us about these because that's that's also one of your favorites right there so far, Bill. Right? Oh, I love the name Copperhead. Very creative name. Great color uh, with uh, with the, with the kind of lime green or chartreuse uh, borders on these. These are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, good sized coleus. Going to look great and great in the garden. And yeah, from the University of Florida breeding, which has brought us all sorts of great uh, coleus, I think these just really add nicely to, to and, all today's And, and you, know, they're, you know they were trialed in a tough climate too. Now this is interesting here. So those are really big uh, coleus, but one of their, uh, their highlights, they said, of this trial is what they're calling a micro coleus. Because of course we want smaller, tinier plants these days, right? Well, tell, us, it, tell us about this one, Bill. This will definitely fit a niche. It'll it'll fit a uh, window box type use, front of the border, even on a on a patio table. It's kind of like the conga and cannonball of coleus. <laughs> Grows to about a third of the size of um, of uh, the regular coleus. Now, nice. It, it doesn't get any flowers, so it's going to keep looking like this. Stay vegetative. You just got to watch out that because it, it doesn't like the cold. You want to keep it growing. Warm. It won't take any cool weather. So, last but not least, another compact mounted, beautifully rounded plant, and this is the Shamrock series of Lantana from Ball Floor. But why Shamrock, Young William? Well, it goes right along with Lucky and Little Lucky and that that whole theme. It does. I thought it, I thought it, I was going to find a four-leaf clover-shaped leaf in here, but no. But what you're going to find is beautiful colors. I think they got four different colors. They've got, uh, can you get in there and get them all, Jen? We've got uh, rose and we've got uh, orange. Let's see, that's peach up top there. Orange flame and then a white. A nice mix of the colors you'd expect. And again, really, really compact, tight, beautiful habit on the uh, Lantana Shamrock series. And I think that is everything we can tell you from Cast 2021 and Ball Flora Plant.